so I've come into the barn and Ricardo's away with it. I was coming to help, but he's already on. He's already on. The the boards have been moved, so we're boarding here today just to make sure we have exactly the measures. It's looking good. So, the useless double glazing man left that quite empty, so we're going to fill that first. It was quite nice with the window. You see, there's not really much to see at the bottom level, whereas if you go to the top, well, I can't reach from here. Even though we're going to take the top of that off, but if you can kind of see, you get the views. Yeah. Oh, it's a Ricardo for leather. So that be your... We're going to have to take the top off that bush. Yeah. Take that bush right Well, away. the farmer next door keeps it quite low as well, so we'll go to the same height as his bush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got an equal bush to the farmer's bush. Very good, lad. So we're going to fill that in there with a special one for... Um, double glaze and for expanding and then we'll get the wall up all go so first board is on doing well up there and then we'll crack on with the next one so we've got two of the boards in there which is good nice and solid now so ready for where the stairs will go and we've got to we'll board the rest along there so the reason is we've got the balustrade to come on here and then where everything's going to meet and this isn't particularly the nicest stone wall so the stone walls that will be left will be on the perimeter there but this one because and also this is a kitchen we'll keep this stone but this is a kitchen here, so it's better to have the wall. So we've got to block this door over tomorrow. But the surfaces are coming through so we can have a cupboard at the back to do all the electrics and what have you. Um, so that will go through there. But very happy with that today. We can get all the final measures. We've had the plans through, the final working plans from the stair company. And that, uh, so we're just verifying with the wall in. All feels good. So I've also managed to get all the tools mainly sorted now. And everything available just to grab. It's really, really good. Ricardo's organised this exceptionally. Plumbing, you know, electrics everything we need and when working today it's just so easy you just grab some see a bit of shortbread there and grab something drill bits spare bits and off we go we got these wonderful things from dewalt and keep all the batteries in line we have one for cutting pulling screwing whatever takes you fancy and all the major things there still a bit of tidying in there to go we'll get to that in the next few days the car just starting to tidy up the back here eventually we're going to put a terrace here um and maybe put like a half wall here because we don't need such a long drive and if that hedge is lowered down we're in a much better position. The wall is very, very solid now, so that's good. And yeah, we'll crack along with this the rest of the week. Get the wall to there. I think we're going to have a sliding barn door to go through on the external. Um, 
Well, tell, me, tell us what you think of that idea. Um, because this isn't full height. But there'll be a whole lot of messing to change that around for no real reason. So see what you think. Well, I think the little boys are ready to to play. So we'll see you tomorrow. I think there's some footage Ricardo's got of the walk in the garden coming up. So enjoy that. Hello, are you saying hello? Are you saying hello? Come and play now. Oh, yes. Okay. This is what they wanted to hang out with Daddy on the sofa. And my belly to see if I've dropped any food. Say hello to everyone. Say hello, darling. Say hello. Oh, can you say hello? Oh, hello, everybody. So we're in our second walk of the day. Because I'm taking them at 7 a.m. as soon as we wake up. Because the sun's not so high. But <laughs> every time I see the rolling hay, it always reminds me of the Monet paintings, like the haystacks. Or Vincent van Gogh's like siesta. Workers having a siesta. Just love it. So nice to just see green and blue and black. Come on, babies. <laughs> now, does anybody know what the name of this flower is? I've just discovered it. <laughs> I just saw it. I've never seen it. Um here but it looks so pretty and our roses are full bloom it's quite a very pretty peach blush <laughs> and yesterday when I was coming back from the bins I saw that the red rose is back but now it has a friend last year it was only one which was this one but now it came with a friend Oh yeah, and these ones as well. I don't know if we let them grow too much or why they're going to one side. They might be too heavy. Oh, uh, maybe they need a stick to keep them upright. You like the flowers. This one's massive. Oh, it smells good as well. <laughs> 